The Kickback Show. What's in your cup? A whole lot of everything, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everybody all around the world. Welcome to the best thing to happen to your entire life. This is the Kickback Show, the Kickback Show.com. I go by the name of Foz, and she is. Organic Blackberry tastes like it sounds, sound like it tastes. And he is. DJ Swivel, anything less will be unswivelized. You know what I mean? Shout out to uh, our our beloved Simone Creole Voodoo all up in this thing, um, and I'm I'm really excited. I feel like it's a family affair. Although this is my first time interacting and exchanging with this brother, I have family from Oakland, California that lived in Richmond. I got family in Sacktown, so my heart and love is is in Northern California, the Bay. Mind you, I said Northern California and the mm -hmm. Bay. Because I know right. this, you know, this, 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 this specificities with the specificities. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> yeah. sh shout out to my brother, my brother P. Smooth. What's up with you, baby? How you feeling? Yeah, like? Hey now, say now, P. Smooth, P. Dot S. M. O. O. V. You know what I mean? Uh, man, we just out here. Hey, I like how you had to distinguish that. Yeah, because uh, you know, sack they they own little. They like nah, we stack. Beef, man. Right. Like, <laughs> do your thing, do your thing. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> Absolutely, man. So, of course, I just want to make sure that I get this right. You were, uh, let us know where you were born and raised, and then what you actually represent. Okay, yeah. Uh, so I'm from Richmond, California. Um, there's no real hospital in Richmond, California. So I was born in San Francisco, California, but you know, from Richmond, born in Richmond. I mean. From Richmond, raised in Richmond, rep Richmond. That's you know, and Richmond is just a, a, a one of the cities that's in the Bay Area. So, yep. you know, I know that's like confusing, especially like down south. They be like, like, like when it comes to like LA and stuff like that. I'd be like, yeah, I'm from Richmond. They be like, where are you from? I like the Bay. Are oh, you from San Francisco? Nah, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's you know what's so wild is is that there's a Richmond in Virginia. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so just like there's a there's a Pittsburgh up in Northern California, you know, we know that there's one over in the East in, in Pennsylvania, you know what I mean? And so, right. and it's it's a disservice because if you're not, not familiar with, you know, a particular region or state, you clump everything together. New York considers LA to be all of Southern California. Right. right? You know what I'm saying? Um, it, whereas, you know, the Bay Area, Northern California, is its own thing and separated and all of that, man. So yeah. that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, it's it's definitely my again, my love and, and heart is up there in, in northern northern Cali, bro. That you know what I mean? Good. So on every time. Yeah, yeah. And what's dope what's crazy is like Yeah, man. I feel like now what's starting to happen in California is just like these other little pockets are starting to emerge. Like you got Stockton that's going crazy right now. And then you got SAC that's going crazy. Right. You know, I feel like the Bay and LA have always been like staples as far as like hip hop goes. So like now to see these other cities flourishing, right. I hope it just brings California together in and of itself. Cause a lot of people like, you know, when it comes to like that whole Bay versus LA and all that, like it's like, yeah, I'm from the Bay, but at the end of the day, like I make good music. I fuck with artists that make good music. And I don't care if you from, Watts, Captain, wherever you from, like, man, if it's good, we we get it on, we get it cracking, and, you know, we keep it pushing. I feel like that's a, that's a very Bay energy. Shout out to Leo, you know what I'm saying? That's a bit, just like, I feel like that, um, that, that family, that brotherhood, sisterhood, I don't know, from my family, from what I've seen and, and what I've been raised out here, it's just, it's, 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 I always call it like the South. It's like a, a little bit like Southern hospitality up there to me. Right. Definitely. Um, and, and I think it just depends on like it, just the culture and then like, you know, how everything came to be. Like um, as far as like the culture, like I feel like the, the Bay Area culture is it, it's obviously like it evolved from pimp culture. That's like what the Bay Area is. That's why the slang is what it is. That's why the game is what it is. So it, it's just it's very like, hey, now saying that like, what's up, baby? How you doing? You're like, you good? You, you, it's just a lot of that. Right. I just gotta shout out your shirt. You just and, look but, real uh, dripping right now. You just look real, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody get this man a napkin, okay? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, you know, they say come through, look fresh. I said, all right, bet. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the dripper. There it is. And so, um, be smooth in, in your bio, it says, you know, um, you know, you're, you're, you like to kind of share the, your experiences as far as being like, 
uh, Afro Latino brother like in in hip hop, and I don't know how it is for the Bay, um, the Bay Area in terms of like the sound and and like kind of like your experiences in being you know kind of like a mix of both like la we got like a little bit of a distinctive sound from latin hip-hop to you know i guess you know commercial hip-hop or whatever is it like that up in the bay or like what's your experience been like i think so so it's like me and and the reason that's in the bio right there is just because like off the bat i already get that question what you mix with you know what you what, what are you what right. what is this and it's like i i don't I wouldn't say me as an artist, like I push that sound or push anything that has to do with like a Spanish sound to it or anything like that. Um, it's just more like, because I'm always gonna get the question, what you mix with? Who are you? Da, 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 da. So it's just like, I just kind of just put it on the forefront and was like, hey, this this is what it is. This is what it is. Like, you know what I mean? I don't like, I don't make Spanish records. I don't really do any of that. I just make, like you said, commercial hip hop. And that's what I do. But I know that conversation comes and, and, and all that stuff. So I just, put it out there it's very it's like you said commercial it's very um of the now has it have you molded with the times or has that always kind of been your you have a very storytelling kind of flow i think i think it's it's always been like so my experiences with hip-hop i guess i guess my first real real experience with like rap in and of itself was when i was in juvenile hall um, you know, I was in juvenile hall with one of my one of my really good friends now, and um, I just remember we was in a cell. We was on like 23 hour lockdown. We was both like 15 years old, and we just was like writing and trying to put the poetry together. And you know, we just talked about our lives, and we, we didn't, you know, the world seems so big when you're the, when you're that young. Um, so you know, we're like, man, I don't know. And you know, we just writing and hey, talk about that one time when you said, duh, 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 you know, and oh yeah, we gonna talk about this. Uh, oh man, we gonna get it. So it's just like lacing the game kind of in the lyrics and like just having it kind of go with what you got going on. Um, and just, you know, and just really, um, I feel like transferring that energy of what you're going through and kind of putting it into the song, you know what I mean? Like, um, I got this single right now off my mixtape, it's called Overtime. Um, and it's been, I mean, it's doing, been doing good. It's got like videos of like, I think it's like 29,000 or 30,000 views right now. Um, and like the lyrics in it is like, you know, the first line that says, caged up and shackled, alone, living filthy. I can't sleep without a pistol. They might try and kill me. They tell me that I'm changing, no, I'm grown, but I'm still me. I'm running up a bag, give a fuck about who feel me. And it's like, that right there is just like, I wanted to transfer the emotion of like, how you just, you know, life is hard. Life is a grind. Yeah. And you got to keep putting yourself forward each and every day. And especially when you're in the entertainment industry, like you don't, you don't know what's going to happen. You know, you, you know, it's like, when you go work construction or you go work something like that, your work is done at the end of the day. Clock in, clock out, boom. Okay, we did this. The concrete's gonna sit. We're gonna come back tomorrow. Right. Sweep this up. We're gonna do it. It don't stop for us. <laughs> <laughs> it don't yeah. stop. Right. You constantly right. trying to make a play. You trying to meet a connection. You trying to meet somebody. You trying to go here, go there. And it's like it's, you just you working overtime, and you just gotta get it. So sure. I, I, I think you know to bring that back to your question that you asked. I think that's. I kind of try to bring the storytelling into like real things that I'm going through mm -hmm. um, and that I deal with. And like an artist right now that I hella like fuck with, um, uh, y'all heard of BFB the Pac Man? Sounds, yeah. sounds familiar. No. The, uh, it's a, he got that song like, uh, ran up on the plug. Is you stupid? Then uh, like. Is uh, he from like um, the Midwest? Yeah, he, he, the, uh, yeah. he the fat dude that's like a, he a male yeah, man. Yeah. Too. Yeah, that's, he, that's he go funny. crazy. Yeah. But um, he's hella real though because he still keeps his job as a mailman and like mm -hmm. still pushes rap music, and still does that. And and you know he like he says he's like, bro, I could be over here <laughs> to y'all. Like I don't deal with real life, but this is my real life and what I go through. And so I think it, I think it's that just trying to right. like mirror real life into the music. And I understand you know it's entertainment at the end of the day. And I kind of learned that you know when I first started doing music and stuff like that. Like this is the entertainment industry. And everything you see isn't really what it is, but right. as much as I can, I try to just pair my real life and my real experiences and what I've gone through and kind of just share that through the music. I super appreciate you articulating that because I was definitely wondering, um, you know, I seen that you're a poet and then, and then some, it's so 
sometimes we think, Paul, you think Deaf Comedy Jam or something, you know, you think, you know, uh, sorry, not Deaf Comedy, Deaf Poetry, you know, you think it's real. And so I move through the breeze. Right. And so um, hearing you say like, you know, I take it and um, Foz was saying earlier, like, you know, you, you like, you have to know your audience who you're communicating to. And um, your substance, when you're articulating it, it's like, oh, no, 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 you know exactly who you're communicating to. You know exactly what you're doing. I totally get it now. Right. And I feel like for me, a big part of my life um, was like, I was affected uh, immensely by the criminal justice system. You know, I was, you know, 15, went to juvenile hall, had to deal with a case and I caught a case when I was 21. Then, you know, I ended up going to prison and, you know, just dealing with that in general, um, I have a real heart for like anybody that's been uh, affected by the criminal justice system, anybody that goes through it. Um, you know, they say one in four African-American men, one in five Latino men um, either are indirectly or um, directly affected by the criminal justice system. Right. And it's crazy. You get what I'm yeah. saying? Just to, just to see that in the communities. That yeah. right. yeah. Because yeah. You, you feel like you don't see a way I out. I, I want I to get more into that, but, but I want to get into the record. I want to play right. over time. Okay. To allow the audience to, to hear what we're talking about because I definitely want to dig deeper into that because I feel like there's a lot to unpack, especially as it relates to your story. You right. know what I mean? And, and everything that you're all about. So let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Peace moves in the building. You're absolutely welcome. DJ Swivel is in the mix. It's the Kickback Show. Sneaks. For new and exclusive music, listen to the Kickback Show. Caged up and shackled, alone, living filthy. I can't sleep without a pistol. They might try and kill me. The Kickback Show. What's in your cup? A whole lot of everything. Peace move in the building. Shout out to Creole Voodoo. Simone, what's up with you, baby? Uh, Kickback Show, the kickbackshow.com. Um, man, so over time, I, one of the things that we, we talked about earlier with, with the Bay merging with like Southern California, Northern California, Southern California. I think what the the general mainstream fails to realize is the beautiful marriage between the two. How, you know, during the time when when we're going through segregation, people moving to California, yeah. there was an influx that went up to the Bay Area, you know, and how the Bay Area literally was trendsetting for a lot of the narratives that we exist when it comes to we exist in when it comes to hip hop, right? When you think about the Black Panthers, as you mentioned, pimp culture, um, you know, slang and lingo, um, and and camaraderie, all of, like a bunch of different things, and even just down to the artists, you know, we Digital Underground, Pac, yeah. Richie Rich, you know, uh, Filmo Slim, um, E Forty, Too Short, you know, shout out to my brother Mr. Fab, Kick the Sneak, list goes on, Peace Move, you know what I mean, um, <laughs> and. I, 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 I've noticed I've noticed that that the commonality with that is not only just black empowerment, but a lot of what you're talking about when it comes to fighting injustices and talking about, you know, the, the hardships that come with living this lifestyle, dealing with the consequences of living this lifestyle, which ultimately were forced into as being you know uh minorities in in america you know what i mean and the one thing that i wanted to highlight with with overtime the narrative within itself is you know you have like the you know as you mentioned people that go to a nine to five punch in clock out and they go live but when you're a, a, a black person or a latino what have you and you live a particular lifestyle it's like you're not only working overtime to make ends meet but to try to just simply fit into society mm -hmm. right do you feel as though that that you have to oversimplify that or, or over explain and try to justify that within your muted music or artistry or is that just something that you that you deal with in your everyday uh your everyday work um i think that when it comes down to it at the end of the day like we're always going to be judged um no matter what we go into, we always have to be two to three times better just to get a fair chance. Um, and you know, me having a record and, and, and right. um, having dealt with the things that I've dealt with in my life, it just, it, it makes it to a point where 
at first you can feel like like hesitant about your story and hesitant about your experiences but you eventually get to a threshold and then you know the door Daddy. opens and you're kind of standing in the door and you're like okay i can either stay here and just marinate in my insecurities or i could take this step forward and i could just become unapologetic and I think that's what it's about. It's about just being unapologetically you and dealing with what you got to deal with. Like, yeah, okay, yeah. Like, whatever you want to do. If somebody want to be a rapper, man, go, but just go for it. If somebody wants to be an entrepreneur, man, go for it. If somebody wants to, you know, be a UPS worker, somebody wants to go be a waiter, somebody wants to be a bartender, go for it. Just, just go in there and just take that mindset that comes from the streets, that mindset of, well, shit, they ain't give a shit anyway, so we just gonna go take it. Right. <laughs> where did that right. where did that come from? Like how did you develop that? Like can you make it practical for somebody that really is feeling you but like they just looking for that start, you know? Yeah, explain that a little bit more. Okay, so when you the the you know, it's one of those things that for some people it's easier said than done. And so I I believe that everyone that um is faced with that and they're able to get on the other side of it their experience is unique to somebody so i was just wondering how, what what took you to that spot like where you're like you know what i'm about to like i'm about to do me i don't care what they're talking about i'm about to do me you know i think i had that that moment um maybe like two or three times at like different periods in, um so I, let me just explain it and, and then we'll go into it so like i remember in prison um you know, we don't, they didn't really have mirrors, like real mirrors. It's like a, like a metal sheet kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So I remember I'm shaving and then I kind of just look and I'm just like, like, fuck this shit, man. Like, I'm yeah. sick of this shit. Like I am, like, I can't, like the disgust that I just felt in looking at myself and I'm just like, like, nah, bro, stop here. It stops here. Yeah. yeah. And I think that was the first initial decision that I had made to just become like, you know what? Fuck, I don't give a fuck. Nobody say I'm gonna just do me. I'm gonna just do this. And and what happened with music is, um, so while I was in there, um, you know, one of my friends, you know, he he had been given life in prison, and we was just, you know, we were shooting the shit bullshit. And he was like, man, hey, spit that shit you wrote. And so I spit some shit. And he was like, hey, bro, you gotta promise me, get out. Gotta do this music shit. Promise me that, bro. And I shook his hand and I made that promise. And like, you know, I'm the type of person I stand on my word. If I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. Right. But when I got out, I, you know, I just, you know, I, I, I took a swing at music. And the first kind of song I made, I mean, it went up. We had it like in nightclubs, the video hit like 30,000 views. And that was like my first song I ever even like just pushed. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? So it was, it, that was like one moment. And then I think another thing was, um, so I have a daughter. Mm -hmm. um, and her being born was just like, I don't know how I'm gonna figure this shit out. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I'm gonna make it happen. And, and and that's exactly what it was. Like, um, I just, when I got out, I just, you know, I said, baby girl, I'm, we gonna make this happen. And, you know, I've done it all, man. I've worked two, three jobs to make it happen, done this, done music, done, this, you know what I mean? Doing it all. Cause, I mean, everybody knows, like, when it comes to, to, to the entertainment industry, artists don't make anything at first. Yeah. Everybody right. takes our money first. You know what I mean? Right. You yeah. got to pay the producer. Yeah. You got to pay the engineer. Then you got to pay the market. And you got to pay for this and pay for it to get the, the, the artwork done. And then pay your videographer and then run a YouTube ad. And it's like, you do all of that. and But at the end of the day, you're like, okay, well, well shit, well, who going to pay me? Yeah. How, I'm going to get this dough at first. And nowadays, right. nowadays it's even you know it's even you got to pay to upload to these streaming platforms, and then making you know pennies on the dollar yeah. per stream in return. And you know it's one of the things actually I've been trying to like push you know fans to um, buy the artist's music on you know whether it be uh, iTunes or whatever the case is versus just streaming it because then it's more money in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, and. Yeah, I know that I know that feeling of of when my when my first daughter was born, like, you know, thinking like, or you know, my my wife asking me like, you know, are you ready for a kid? I'm like, no, but I'm, I'm gonna figure it out. Like, you know, we gonna make it happen. And, you know, sometimes when, you know, 
our culture, like when we kind of get pushed to, you know, the edge or to a breaking point, like we somehow find a way to, you know, strive and, and be successful. So. Yeah, man. My, da my daughter was born two weeks after I got out. Um, mm -hmm. For anybody that's watching this has been to the pen, they'll understand this when I say this, I had a bush baby in prison. You feel me? They'll understand that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, so I had gotten out two weeks after my daughter was born. And that's kind of like, so I got hella love in the Bay because obviously that's where I'm from. But I also have hella love in Fresno. Like Fresno fucks with me tough. Like the whole city of Fresno, the 559, like they, they fuck with me tough. And the reason is, is because so my, my, my baby mama, she's from Fresno. My daughter's in Fresno. So, you know, when I got out, I'm like, man, I'm going to go take care of my daughter. I go to Fresno, you know, and I'm interacting. I'm trying to make things happen and you know that's how that city started you know going love for me because i just saw they like damn bro like you from the bay you came out here just to you know take care of your daughter and 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 start pushing shit i'm like yeah so i'm running back and forth i'm driving you know what i mean i'm doing all type of shit to make it happen so you know just shout out to i think the struggle because i mean like you said it, it's like when you have a kid like it's like it's, it's not it's not their fault that they're there it's on you so you gotta you gotta just step up to the plate and make it happen. And I think everything that has came from that has been just a testament of, uh, I just want to give my daughter a better life than I had. I want to break generational curses. Um, and I just want to put her in a position to be successful. And I'll shake, come on now, I'll shake. <laughs> and on it's like, and if, and if she squander it, she squander it. But if she don't and she take advantage of the opportunities that I placed her in, yeah. that was my job as, as, as a dad to do that. And I, and I think that's why, I think that's why you, you're you're getting the love in return because people see like you're you're doing it in a uh, in an honest way for you know the betterment of your daughter and they're you know it's not just you just out doing music just to try to try to make a bag it's like no you're trying to provide for your family and and like you said give better opportunities so you know props to you for you know yeah. doing it. and it's only gonna it's only gonna continue to bless you in the end. Yeah, man, and I appreciate man. appreciate y'all for that for real. Like, I mean, I be mean, she done, she done came to the studio with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she it's just it's just that's how that's how it rolls. And it's like I don't know. Like, I can't. I mean, I feel like you know, if y'all got a kid, you feel it. Like, it's just it's go time. It's it's mm -hmm. you you know. And that's what I feel like. You know, when I was locked up and when I was down for the time that I've done, and it was like that was my rest period. That was the time to just you know chill but now once i hit the you know hit the ground i hit the ground running i said man we not sure. doing this no more and it's like you know what what better way to do it than through music where it's just like you know i could tell my story and, and and if things come from it they come and if they don't well shit at least i did my best at giving a good swing at it and trying to make shit happen and it's therapeutic Absolutely. you got that out it needs to come out energy got it and got to get out otherwise it's going to tear you up inside and i would like to say ladies and gentlemen he found his why, just in case she was trying to figure out what it was. He found his why. So find mm -hmm. your why. Right. And then you put that, stand up on that and go. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep that. Yeah, I found my why. Yeah. And and I, I have to say that, that brother, I want to acknowledge your, your, your transparency, your vulnerability, and you being a, being a man about yours. You know what I'm saying? I think far too often society has a way of glorifying going down you know what i'm saying and doing all the reckless you know things that that we ultimately succumb to right without actually manning up and taking accountability for our, our responsibilities you know what i mean and so i appreciate everything that you're saying i appreciate your your involvement not only within your personal life but within the, the music to be able to push this narrative to say yo it's let's normalize being a grown-up you know what i'm saying like right. it's, it, it, regardless of whatever you do it's like take accountability for your actions you know what i'm saying and and i yeah. i commend you and salute you for that bro real talk yeah especially real talk. when you know i'm saying say, um with that being uh, said I, I think oh, okay no i just want to say because i um it's also really bright to me that when you say that you traveled from the bay down to fresno and was just showing love and, and it's like we got y'all we i'm not you know an artist like that but we got to get back to that you know you can't just put on for online and just be like buy my shit because i'm fly like no like yeah. come spend time with the people put your energy in and you get it back 
So yeah, that's, I, think, that, I, think, that. I think that that comes from like, I don't know if it's if I want to say like jail culture, but like, like it's like, you know, you have to. The, the thing about like the incarceration system, right? There's like hella fucked up shit about it. But like one thing that I can say is like, you know, the internet is a place where you can say whatever you want and you'll never run into that person. You could be who you want to be. But when you're in a in a, in a in a unit and you're going to see the same person every day and then doors going to pop every day and you have to encounter this person every day, it's going to show who you really are as a man. And it's like, when it comes down to it, it's just like, I, I'm going to show you respect for who you are and I'm going to expect the same thing back. And if not, then it's a problem. Or if we have a problem, I'm just checking temperature. So when I go anywhere, it's, oh, what's up, bro? How you doing? Yep, this is who I am. This is where I'm from. Like, you feel me? This, this is who I am. Who are you? All right. You know what I'm saying? And, and at that at, at that point, it's like, okay, I'm going to respect you. Okay, cool. If you got an issue with it, we can do what you want to do. But yeah. it's really just about that. Like, what's going on? This is, this is who I am. What's up? And just keeping it going. So, you know, and that's how I am. I mean, wherever I'm going, like, I tap in, you know, LA. I fuck with LA tough. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like VIP Inspire. I'm tapped in with them. Uh, I'm tapped in. You know, I was when I, when I was in the pen. I met some people from like a, a few spots. You know what I'm saying? A, a lot of them tough neighborhoods and stuff like that. So it's like, you know, I got I got love for LA for sure um, because you know they coach y'all. Y'all culture was was um, is different than than the culture I was raised in. You know, y'all y'all culture is based on gang banging, and it's really like assertive and dominant. And this is what it is. And this is what it is. And you know, not to say that the day's not like that, but you know, it's just a different way that they go about things. Right. Right. I think it's only right that we uh, that we get into another record, man. Um, what you what would you like to get into? Because I mean, the project Project Bangs, Stacking and Mackin' uh, Volume One. Yeah, man, Stacking and yeah. Mackin' Volume One. Uh, you know what bankroll, I mean? uh, bankroll for sure. That one, that one go crazy. Yeah. Bankroll. And then uh, Bankroll and Smoke in the Air. Them, them like my like some of my favorite right. off, the, off the tape for sure. The bank, I'll be wanting Man, to do listen. like this when I hear it. <laughs> we want to swing something. I don't know why I'm trying to swing something. Yeah, swing the door, <laughs> swing your hair, swing your arm, something. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> As you said, man, that's where it's at. DJ Swivel is in the mix, man. Peace Move is in the building. This is the Kickback Show, the kickbackshow.com. All up in this thing. Let's get into it. Bankroll. For new and exclusive music, we on live. Listen to the Kickback Show. Straight the fuck up. Yeah. Look, 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 look. If you didn't bang my line when I was locked up, I don't want to hear shit when I'm outside. Yes, sir. Movies in a rolly, know I shine bright. Stepping in these Louis, I'm addicted to the high life. The Kickback Show. What's in your cup? A whole lot of everything, ladies and gentlemen. The Kickback Show, the kickbackshow.com. Peace smooth in the building. Sagging and Mac in volume one. Yeah. You know man. I'm saying, you feel me? So I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that we can expect a volume two three four like we're gonna we're gonna keep this thing going for sure volume two is already being worked on right now do we have visuals for one yeah we, we got visuals. More? More. um yeah more coming um yeah. so the bankroll video dropped that that just hit 20 i think we have twenty one thousand views right now that's uh, like a month it's been a month right it's, or it's, 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 over time over time's a month bankroll is like okay. Like like a little a little less than that yeah. yeah but um yeah that that one's taken off in the streets for sure for sure the streets love that one right there um and I think that just because of like what what the song really represents um yeah and then that that three a.m. freestyle that video is gonna come out and then uh I'm, I'm right now I'm trying to find partnerships for the smoke in the air one I'm trying to get sponsored by like cooking or something like you get what I'm saying let's 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 really go crazy with this let's let's make it go crazy. I love there. that business. Yeah. yeah. It's a vibe. Like, you sure. don't get you, get, like, yeah, network, make a, like, you know what I'm saying? That That is so, I'm here for, I'm here for us flipping some shit into some business shit. You know what I'm saying? So I, I appreciate the whole trying to make a partnership work because it's going to work. Yeah, that part. And especially yeah. for the song, like, this song really fits into, like, what they, you know what I mean, what they brand is, is smoke in the area. Right. So, and it's like, you know, what better way we can push and get some views off of it? We get some exposure, and it's just, it's all for the culture at the end of the day. You get what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong to light one up after a stressful day. Man, <laughs> we finding that out more and more. It seems like every day. You know what I'm saying? And I, I love this age that we in, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially in regards to 
talking about family and, and raising this next generation, breaking up a lot of those conditionings and programs that that were instilled in us. You know what I'm saying? And to say, yo, it's it's okay to to do X, Y, and Z. It's okay to do this. We can normalize, you know, ABC. You know what I'm saying? And and that falls under under that umbrella that you know cannabis is that has so many other you know medicinal and beneficial factors to it than what was just publicized in the mainstream you feel me yeah yeah it's it's crazy because um i'm guilty of it and i throw my hands up of like trying to find substance in certain things and it's like it's art it's art you know and and so nor like it's it's that conditioning that programming that is like from the you know from knowing what hip hop was being like you know that's not you know what it is and it's like no nah, the the prior said the same thing about what we had that like that ain't you know so it's like I, I'm just reprogramming that you know it's art it's art it's not supposed to look the same definitely right. I, I think even um, you know smooth talking about you know trying to be unapolog unapologetically him right and and showing that like you can you can you can be that but at the same time handle your business handle your responsibilities for you know your family or whatever and, right. be, and right. be successful and and, yeah. and you know what i'm saying like um you know we kind of see how like you know people are quick to be canceled so to speak yeah. um but for for being unapologetically or whatever or controversial or anything like that but as long as you're taking care of your responsibilities, like, you know, and and staying real, people are gonna are gonna show you love and and you know help you help you continue to be successful and continue to grow. Man, regard man, and, and and it's it's crazy you say that because it's like I feel like you can't deny authenticity, like at, right. at, at, at any form, it can't be denied. Yeah. Um, and it's like you know I was watching um, that Million Dollars Worth of Game podcast when Gilly the King he made a he made a comment he said. He said people was fucking with Meek Mills when Meek Mill was in an oversized black hoodie with cornrows fresh out of fresh out of jail. Right. It's like That's they fit, yeah. his shit to this day. And and he can't be canceled. It's impossible for him to be canceled because you still got them ties to when he was back then. And I feel like that's what it is. Like you know, when you get a certain level, you see like uh, then the comments and this, the haters and people just trying to get clout and all that shit happen. But I think, you know, like right. definitely what I'm focused on right now is just um, getting that core base of people that just identify with what I believe in and, and that move and push the same kind of hard line that I push. Um, as a song on a mixtape, uh, it's kind of overlooked, but it's like one of the deeper songs. Uh, it's called Glory. Um, and it's like, you know, what you just said about family, it says we do it for family, we don't do it for the glory. You know, watching for snakes because yeah. it's way to get gory. And then, you know, I just had like an introspective line on there. I was like, you know, apologize to my mom for situations handled poorly. Ain't no stars up in my city, but they shoot like Robert Ory. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Ooh, ooh. Bars. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Hey. Say, that line, say that line one more time, because you know, that's probably that's the yeah. end. <laughs> I said, ain't no stars up in my city, but they yeah, shoot like yeah. Robert Ory. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, yeah, like, hey, it, man. it goes back to what Sue said, like, as long as you handle your business, you stay on your ten toes. You an adult, man. Live your life. Do what you want to do. Be who you want to be. You you a great father, right. and you know you a great father during the day. Your kids go to sleep. You want to go light up, go light up. But you know, like yeah. said, you think everything comes in moderation. And, yeah. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah, and not and I appreciate. Uh, I think I think too. Go ahead, go ahead, Brandy. Oh no, I just appreciate the um. I can't, I can't articulate it right now, but I just really appreciate the, the, you feel like I know you for like three years or 10 years or whatever. I just can appreciate, I appreciate that, you know, don't feel like you put it on. And it's like, sometimes you think one way, you th if you think that, I, I honestly, when I seen the, um, your files and you know, all the different ways that you're like connecting the streets with the, with other things. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, but it's like, it's gonna look, I don't even know how to say it. I just really appreciate the way you articulate how you're moving. And I could, I could feel that it's genuine. So we just gonna slide past that. I don't know how to say it. 
And I, I appreciate that. Um, and, and I think I think there's a bar in like that 3 a.m. freestyle that talk about that. And it's like, they say like, man, I ain't got to say a lot because I didn't did a lot. Like, I'm not trying to be the tough guy because I've already done tough shit. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't got to be act super duper hard because I didn't been in situations where your ass going to be like, nah, his character really showed that he really about that. You get what I'm saying? My brother right now, you know, my brother, you feel me? From, I mean, blood up, blood wouldn't make us no closer. It's my brother. He, you know, he got his seventy five of life, and I talk to him every day. Mm -hmm. And you know, it, it keep me grounded. And he's like, bro, don't, don't fall for the politics. You know who you are. You, you know, don't fall for the antics. Don't fall for none of that. You better than all of that. So I, right. I, I would be going against my character. You know, I'd be going against who I am, and even going against who backs me and who represents me. If I'm right. only trying to just push it aside and act hella cool and. I mean, you get what I'm saying? Everything has a moment, yeah. you know? It's a season to cry, season to laugh, season to, you know, handle your shit, deal hard, act hard, deal what you gotta do. But it's like right now, we just chopping it up. We being real and that's all it's about. Just, you know, being able to be vulnerable and understand that there's power in what you've been through and what you've experienced. You know what I mean? And, yeah. and I think the true power comes in growing from those experiences. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And not allowing it to to overwhelm you and consume you. Cause it's, you're right, like it's, it's easy to, to fall back into that cycle based on, you know, what society and the mainstream say. Society and mainstream may want you to show that you tough and prove and oh, I gotta prove it again. You know what I mean? When right. like you mentioned, like I already I already did this. Like why do I have to allow my ego to push me to prove something to people that are glorifying something that they never lived in? That you know point. what I'm saying? Or they and it's like no letter, they not gonna put no money on oh, your books. You know, they'll, if anything, they'll cancel you. You know what I'm saying? They'll, right. they'll, you know what I mean? They'll, 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 they'll judge you for living your truth, or they'll bait you into doing something that's outside of your character and what you've grown into. And I think again, like I, I appreciate your message of normalizing, just being true and authentic to yourself, and living in that principle of the absolute truth. Like I am who I am. Let me show you exactly who I am based on my merit, based on my actions, based on my character and what you see right now, and not try to prove myself based on this illusion of what cool is, or what being tough is, or, or trying to be rich and fame, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, all of that is only going to end up, you know what I'm saying? At least where I grew up, that puts a target on you, you know no. what I'm saying? Because then it now, do. It do. man, 100%. man, what? And me and my brother were saying, it's like, you know what I mean? And we, we, we was talking about this earlier today. I was like, you know, we've been cool. Y'all just found out. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> we've right. been, we been him. Y'all just finding right. out. We've right. been right. Him. You get what I'm saying? Right. So, Absolutely. And I think that's what it comes down to. And it's like, yeah, bro, like, I don't know. Like, I'm really from the streets, bro. So I really understand, like, you know, I be seeing these rappers, bro. They be getting caught lacking. Oh yeah, we in the studio, big money, big this. Woo, woo. Five minutes later, they got stripped. Why? You're broadcasting. I got no money. Yeah. Right. This location. So yeah. now they, what? I don't post it. I'm at the studio till I leave that moment. Right. I don't right. post stories where I'm at until I'm gone. Like yeah. you, you know what I'm saying? If you see me, it's because you either are meant to see me or it was just some random like walk past by type shit. But. I don't know, you got to stay and, on point, man. Hey, and, and I appreciate I appreciate music for, for teaching me a lot as well. And and, and to, to ultimately to verify what you just said, one of my favorite rappers, DJ Quick, said that on Balance and Options. Swear probably know exactly what I'm talking about. But there's a record where he says, you know, uh, don't floss, money looks better when it's invisible. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you ain't got to put it all out in the open like it looks better when you can't see it like that money part. is a lot better when you got it invested in and you know about it because when everybody else know that you you know you pull and granted needless to say that there are cats that can pull up on the block in a nice ass car because you know they do what they do on the back end but if you out here and you showing that you eating and you ain't feeding your people or where you came from and you're not staying true and authentic to yourself or you living beyond your means it's gonna catch up to you it's yeah. definitely gonna catch up to you yeah. Yeah, you know, I hear you know, so. nigga, where your code at? Where your dance they want real bros at? Now, you. stories that you telling them for that. Like, yeah, I hear all that. Yeah, that's that's nip all the way. And, and you know, I, I fuck with this yeah. energy so much, bro. Like, especially because, like, yeah. I think, like, you know, we've been talking about just being grown and being who you is and being responsible. But still, like, 
don't play me like I'm no sucker though, because I'll take yeah. it there. Like when he yeah. slapped the shit oh, out right. of me. Yeah, I see right. right. when he slapped yeah. the shit out of me. Quick, too. Yeah, I even felt that. I felt he that because hesitate. it's like, man, and, and, and that's a big thing. Like, me and, and all my niggas will tell you, like, we don't do all this. We not we not with that. Like, you get what I'm saying? Right. If it's going to go, we just don't go. Right. And it's like, that's exact. When I seen that, I said, bro, I, I, I don't know. Like, it was like just a, a moment where I was like, I fuck with Nip. Like, I fuck with Nip for that for sure. Because that's, that's straight up. He felt disrespected. Well, yeah, okay, I'm this superstar. I'm this, I'm this. But I'm still a man at the end of the day. And you're not gonna, yeah. I'm not going to tolerate that shit. And you the know. funny thing is, my friend, she used to work for BT at that time, and so she knew the dude, and she was like, yeah, he's a bitch ass. Like, he's just, he's a bitch ass. So it's like, when she said, when he's, I was like, oh, okay, he probably, he probably really got slapped the shit off for like, it was like one of those, like, ancestor slap, like, all these motherfuckers, I told you, I'm about to slap the shit oh. out of your life. The victory slap. Yeah. Hey, yeah. You, you know what? Yeah, yeah. What's, what's, yeah, what's not so ironic about, about, nip as an example right is i feel as though that you know that that speaks to society to where you reach a certain level of success and people they fail to realize where you came from and who you truly are like they have no regard right, right. there's a video that surfaced that, I, that i've watched of his where he was going through uh, and it, the video just popped up of him going through somebody's car right which easily that can be spun into something else but right. what it was was he he was explaining like yo like y'all you know you just came up putting a camera in my face right you know what i mean without asking me or, or checking with me to see if it's cool or even having any respect or regard for yeah. who i am as a man like i'm with my lady i'm just trying to i'm just trying to live and going about my thing like i wouldn't have had a problem with doing your interview but like right now isn't the time like there's a way to go about doing it yeah. and he was like how would you like it if somebody was all up in your thing you know i'm gonna go through your stuff because this is the energy we on right yeah. And the, the guy behind the camera, it was a woman and a, and a man. And the man behind the camera was like, yeah, but, you know, you you a celebrity. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm paraphrasing. He was like, you a star. Like, you you know, this, you an entertainer. This way, he was like, look, I'm a, I'm, I'm from Rolling He's 60. Like, I don't Fred, know first about of all. none of that shit. Right here. First of all, he said, first of all, I'm a, I'm a crit first. Yeah. And I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, respect <laughs> that. And understand what that is because and and it's like you you had you people fail to realize like just because you superstardom doesn't take you away from your element and That's how you were raised and what you what you came up in it's like i'm trying to do good but it's like i'm not going to tolerate disrespect like you have to understand that there's a moral code that we have to live by you yeah. know what i mean yeah. so no bitch yeah, ass I, shit is accepted yeah. we don't accept no bitch ass shit for real but it's crazy because there's there's a line in bank that say that it's a it's a uh, tripping off respect i ain't moving like a rap star like you get what i'm saying yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, like you know i done had them situations you know where i'm in a club and people is looking and they're like and i'm just like you know i'm being being for i'm, 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 I'm yeah. 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 Right. Right. I fuck, I fuck right. with your music, bro. Right. Oh, for sure. You get what I'm saying? Oh, you got it. Okay, right. Hold on, bro. You know, I'm, I'm traumatized, right. bro. I've been through some shit. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. You, know you almost, you almost went back. <laughs> You're looking a little too hard, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, 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 I think, I think your moments like that is, is cool to, you know, Put one in the air you know what i'm saying so i think i think it's only right that we uh we play that smoke in the air you know what i'm saying let them uh yeah let them breeze them through. you know I, we touch we touched on it a little bit i think it's only right that we give it to the people uh this is the kickback show the kickback show.com um, peace movers in the building you're welcome once again ladies and gentlemen and uh dj swivel is in the mix let's get into it okay dj swivel for new and exclusive music oh. listen Smoke in the air, go ahead and pass one. I'm the real deal, I ain't nothing like your last one. Burberry fit plus a nigga real handsome. VVS diamonds hit the lightning dancing. No whip, I just pulled off the lot, new walk. The Kickback Show. What's in your cup? A whole lot of everything, ladies and gentlemen. Um, honestly, this this has been one of those those moments in time um, and a, an amazing experience that verifies and, and validates why we do what we do man like, like it was an honor and a pleasure to have you on my brother to be able to talk to you and get a deeper insight of just yeah. who you are 
you know what I'm saying? Even beyond the music and, and just everything, man. So I commend you. I appreciate you. And I, I thank you for pushing the line that you pushing, man, to, to spread this message, to break up these these cycles and all of that, man. Uh, um, let the people know, one, where they can find you and, and what to expect next. Okay, for sure. Well, hey, man, first and foremost, I appreciate y'all as well. I appreciate all the listeners that's tapping in. Um, you know what I mean? Y'all tapped into a great show right now with great people that, you know, do great work. Um, find me where you can find me. You can find me on all my socials uh, at p.smoov. Um, once again, that's p.smoov. My name is P Smooth, uh, like move with an S. You get what I'm saying? Smooth. Um, and you know, we, we just out here, man. Um, stacking and Mackin' Volume One is out everywhere. Make sure y'all go slap that shit, listen to that shit, share that shit, go roll up to that shit, go hit a lick to that shit, whatever y'all want to do. Just go crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah, man. So, you know, that's that's that. A lot of music videos is out right now. The bankroll music video is out, overtime video is out. Um, and we just we just full pressure with it right now. Um, apart from all that, I'm ripping any famous beat that I hear right now. I just ripped uh that that whack jumper beat i'm finna get on that no parties beat and i'm just every week i'm just doing things we pushing a hard line with it um stacking it, it came out party. today right which one um you did you put a video out today right oh yeah yeah that whack jumper one yeah i just yeah and it's like that's like we not even i'm not super pushing that's just for people who fuck with me and, and really like because yeah. i could spit like for real though you get what i'm saying so yeah that's, that's just for them to like really fuck with and just get yeah. content because you know it's people that fuck with me you know i had I, I went on live yesterday and somebody was like bro i've been following you since the day you got out and somebody else was like bro i've been following you since you was posting stories in jail and so i'm like yeah, yeah i'm like yeah yeah me and, and and you know it's for them people that's that's been there you know what i'm saying I, i'm gonna do it for y'all and, and for all the newcomers man welcome to the party um yeah you know and, and you know we just, we just out here and um i just want to thank everybody for fucking with me um you know it's all about being unapologetically you about pushing the hard line for who you are and what you yeah. believe in we talked about it earlier find your why and just reach for the stars and don't let nobody tell you shit. man yeah man that was the man. shit. I just got goosebumps, man. Yeah, Fuck. yeah man. Kick you back, kick back university. Yeah, man. Yes. You're welcome. I stay woke. Hey. Yeah, man. Huh. Absolutely welcome, man. But listen, brother. Once again, it's an open door policy, man. So whenever you want to come back, the door is wide open. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got a call. Just you know what I mean? Just pull up, and we can we can do this politic and thing once again. You know what That's I'm saying? Man, I can't I can't yeah. wait for the, um for uh COVID to be over, man. We, I pull up for real. We roll up or something. Hey man, right. real talk. I, you, you know what? And I know we didn't really get too deep into that, but but I'm I'm glad that through through all the trials and tribulations and everything that you know what I'm saying that you've gone through, adjusting to the times, man. That that you you still standing strong with it, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it's I know it ain't I know it's I know it's a lot easier for others than it is for some, but uh, you know it's it's all a mental game. You feel me? Yeah. And uh, you know definitely I know we in California we we probably got it the toughest. Besides, like New York, there's other places as well. I don't, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I commend you yeah. for for staying strong through all of this and still creating and being creative. Man, y'all too. Yeah. Like it's, I mean, it's it's been crazy. Like, I mean, of course, Houston open and, and Atlanta open and all that, but for us, it's like it's been locked down all the way. No clubs open, ain't no nothing open, and it's like you know, yeah. you know. I hope y'all families is good. I hope y'all being safe. You know, to all the listeners out there, man. I hope you know y'all getting through this. I know this shit tough, but um, you know, if it don't break you, it make you stronger, and we remain unbroken. So, you know, so. up and say hi to people when you walk by. We don't see a lot. We don't see as many people. Say hi. Say hi. You know, you know what I've had to learn. I've had to learn this little eyebrow shit, like because you know you got a mask on and right, shit. Right, so right, like, right. Yo, <laughs> like, like my eyebrows. <laughs> you go, yo, that's real. That's real. Because <laughs> you know, Dude, you one time, hey, man, you it, completely it, passed it. and came back and was like, I just want to let you know I was smiling. This is like, okay. <laughs> like, because I was looking at him like, what the fuck are you looking? And then he had to come back, like, let me just, you look like you killed me. I was like, okay. <laughs> okay. Or like you gotta like you know like squint a little bit to make it look like you're smiling. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, yo. Smiles. <laughs> yeah, that's just I, it's for me. I, I've I've had to I've been faked out a lot, man, because I I like you know nodding and, and saying what's up to people, but I've had to play it off as if I'm bobbing my head to one of my favorite records. Then I like, they don't say hi, man. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying. It's just, they don't respond. You know what I'm saying. It's just. 
you know, I'd, I'd be like, yeah, what's up? Oh, no, nothing. All right. Well, McDonald had a fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's, that's what's up. You know, yeah, it could so, be cool, though, because, you know, the mask, like, it muffles when you're talking. You got, like, a lower voice. That so would probably just sound yeah. like, like Right, right, right. You say the vacuum cleaner? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> That's funny. That's absolutely funny. All right, well, yeah, man. Look, man, I know you got to you got to shake and move and all that good stuff, man. I think it's only right that we uh, I think it's only right that we play one more. Um. Shit, play that, play that, mm, play that 3 a.m. Play that 3 a.m. freestyle. Okay. That 3 a.m. freestyle. Let's do that. Yeah. There it is there. That's where it's at, man. Let's get into it. Peace move. Peace move in the building. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you as always for tuning in. Please support my brother. Everything that he has going on. Stacking the Mac in volume one. Out right now. Go get that. Support him. Watch the videos. All that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, off top. And as always, we are the Kickback Show. At the Kickback Show on everything. At the Kickback Show on everything. I go by the name of Fives Wave Cap Johnny on Instagram, and she is organic blackberry. Tastes like it sound. Sound like it tastes. Okay. <laughs> and he is <laughs> DJ Swivel on Twitter. Swivel on Instagram. S W I V L L. And once again, I just want to encourage you know everybody out there to. Uh, in supporting Peace Move, like buy the you know buy the buy the project. Don't just stream it. Right. Don't stream it. Stream it multiple yeah. times. Yeah. Make sure you're listening at least more than forty seconds. Right. So he gets, he gets them spins. You know what I'm saying? And um, Peace Move. You know, thank you right. again, man. This has been a been a pleasure, man. Yeah. I'm gonna just say this before we get out. This isn't no begging shit either. Like you can't even get a meal as cheap as CDs nowadays. So stop playing. Like. Right. So I just got to throw that out there. I need a little guilt trip on the niggas. We got to support each other. How we going to uh, grow? That part. That part. Yeah, yeah man. That part. Hey, and I appreciate y'all, y'all, man. Thank follow you. bookmarks. Yeah. Well, I'll, you know, make sure y'all follow. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no. No, definitely, man. Yeah, make sure y'all follow up. You know what I mean? Uh, tap in, man. Tap in with everything we got going on. You know, business, partnerships, whatever y'all looking for, man. We going to, you know, we ready to work. So, definitely. Yeah, and I tell my love and respect. Thank y'all for having me. I got to. I got to go attend to some things. So, you know, I'm going to check up out of here, man. Man, appreciate much you. love. Yeah. Greatly appreciate Peace you, man. Soul. Peace small. This is Kickback Show, DJ Swivel in the mix. Peace, y'all. DJ is inspired. Listen to the Kickback Show. Little nigga with a big gun, tripping over everything. A nigga trying to chip some, hope a nigga say some, so I can spray some, broad day some, DOA some. You know how it is when you young and you thugging.